woke up this morning and thought to myself, what are you doing? What, what, what are you doing with your life? The truth is, I don't know. <laughs> to do something like really 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 want to do something so badly that it just it eats you up inside have you ever wanted to try something new to venture out on a new endeavor shoot your shot if you will but you have that voice in the back of your head that says don't do it, you're a failure. Don't do it, you're gonna fail, you're not good enough, you don't know what you're doing. There's tons of people out there better than you. Well, you're not alone because this morning when I get woke up, that's the voice that was in my head. And it was telling me that everything that I'm trying to do and everything that I'm trying to accomplish is for nothing and that I'm a failure and I'm not gonna succeed at anything. <sighs> and it is so defeating, you know, to have that voice in your head. I mean, meanwhile, I have people gassing me up left, right and center telling me that I'm doing so well and like they're so proud of me with the accomplishments and the things that I'm taking on. And thank you to all of you people. It really does mean so much to me. But when the voice in your head is that loud, it's really hard sometimes to take what you say, what other people say seriously as well as tune that voice inside your head out. I never knew what this was called until about, I'd say a year, two years ago, and it's called imposter syndrome. Uh, and I guess that's something I suffer from. Um, and being a woman of color, um, it's actually quite um, common for me. <laughs> Uh, take into account that I'm embarking on a niche that a lot of people my age and my demographic don't really do a black woman in her mid late ish 30s in Canada starting a YouTube channel after the second slash third wave of a panorama. Uh, yeah, you could say that I'm feeling a little bit out of my element right now, but I'm still here. So I don't really know what else to say right now. It's just, I figure I'm not the only one that feels this way. You know, maybe if you're starting a new job or you're starting your own business, you know, those feelings of doubt, girl, they creep in and they, you don't feel like you're good enough. You don't feel like you're, you know, successful enough. You don't feel like you're smart enough, you know? It, and it's, it's some bullshit. Cause you know what, at the end of the day, like I, I think deep down into like my heart of hearts, I know I'm smart. I know I'm competent. I know that I have, you know, all of these attributes that will make me successful, but you know, and I, and I know what they say, don't look at someone's middle, you know, as your beginning. Uh, but that's easier said than done, my friends. I look at some of the influencers that I follow on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter, on TikTok. First of all, how do you all do all of those things at the same time? Like, it, it, it's daunting. It's, it's crazy. But you do it. I just, it's a lot. So what do I do to overcome it? Sometimes I don't. There's been a lot of times I, I haven't. Um, I'd say for a good five or six years, I just, anytime something came up, I was like, no, I'm someone else would be better at that than me. When in actuality, I am perfectly capable of doing the job or completing that task. Uh, it hasn't been until 
this last year that I've kind of realized what I really want in my life and have kind of decided to just go for it. But it's so scary. It's so, so scary. So I guess I just, I don't want to say the words fake it till I make it because that in itself gives me anxiety. But I kind of ask myself, what's the other option? So if I didn't start this YouTube channel, what is the other option? Well, I've been in the hospitality industry for close to 20 years now, and I've done almost everything on the managerial side. I don't want to do that anymore. The thought of working 14 hour days and my feet hurting and not being able to make real relationships, it sucks. And I look at all of the positives that I'm hoping will come from this opportunity and I'm like, well, those outweigh my fear and my anxiousness. I guess that's what I do. I guess I'm really out here asking you, my community, the people who follow me, or maybe you stumbled on this. If you did, thank you very much. Subscribe right now. Um, what do you guys do to combat that imposter syndrome? I'd love your help because I don't know. I, I don't know. I just every day get up, put on my big girl panties and just get it done and then I'm exhausted and sometimes I cry. But it's nice to talk about it because I don't, I feel that if you don't talk about it, you don't know how many other people are suffering the same as you. And I think that if enough of us talk about it, we're able to normalize it as well as be each other's cheerleaders when we've lost our voice. I guess, while I might not believe in myself at this very moment, I definitely believe in you. And I'm thinking of all the people who have touched my life. So I don't surround myself with people who are incapable and I feel, I must, they must do the same thing. They must feel the same way. They must not surround themselves with idiots. So there's that, I guess I'm not an idiot. And if that's all, if that's the only way I'm gonna be able to get through doing these things until they feel comfortable to me, well then I guess that's what I'm gonna to have to do. So I guess that that's it. Yeah, I need help. If you guys can help me on how you overcome your imposter syndrome and your feeling of inadequacy and not feeling enough, for yourself, oh, I would be so forever. I would be forever grateful. But I think that's it for today. Thanks for listening to me rant. Um, I'm gonna go get ready for my girls' night and um, I'll see you soon. Bye.